Okay, welcome. Uh, this is how to start selling now. Why is this so very, very important? This is so very, very important because so many small business owners delay selling. And when they delay selling, well, the problem is, is that the average sales cycle is six months long. So if you delay selling by a month, now all of a sudden that means you have a seven month on average sales cycle, which means that you don't get money for seven months. So what happens if you delay by three months because you don't have all your ducks in a row and you're trying to set up and you're delaying? Now all of a sudden everything gets postponed. I've actually seen small business owners go out of business because they simply didn't start selling now. So I'm Carla a small business solver, and this webinar is all about how do you start selling now. So let's jump into it. So why aren't we selling is really the first question that we need to ask ourselves. And we say it's one reason, but it's really different reasons. So these are some of the reasons why we say we're not selling. We aren't selling now because we need a website. So as soon as I have a website, I'm going to start selling. Or we say, oh, I just don't have my business cards. They haven't arrived yet. Well, they haven't arrived yet because you haven't ordered them yet, usually. Or we can't sell, it, sell yet because we don't have a prototype or a brochure, so we don't have the marketing side. Or we need a contract, and we don't know what that's going to look like yet. Sometimes we don't start selling because we simply haven't decided what our business name is. Yes, I've actually heard all of these things. We don't have our corporation structure in place yet, so we shouldn't tell anyone about our business yet. Or we just, I don't know, have to wait for the right time, so seasonality or whatever it is. Or we need inventory before we start selling. Or we need, well, you get the picture. These are all great excuses of why we're not selling. But again, what we're saying here isn't actually the reason why we're not doing it. The reason is we just need confidence. We are petrified. We are scared that people are going to tell us that our baby is ugly. So we simply have decided not to show them our baby. But we need this confidence and we need to start early because what we really need is we need to fail fast. The best and most successful entrepreneurs fail fast. It is a far, far, far better thing to find out early that an idea won't fly than to continue to just hold it in secret. Because if it won't fly, well, you saved your time and money. Or guess what? You learn from that and you pivot and you come back with something that's even stronger that won't fail the next time. And then you get your sales easier. So really, when we say get selling now, we're basically saying validate your idea now because people can do market research and you can ask your best friend if they like the idea or not but really the rubber hits the road when someone actually buys from you so we want to start selling whatever that looks like earlier so that we can fail fast and pivot and what we really need is to have the confidence to do that and stop listening to all these other excuses so let's remove the barriers and remove these excuses and get to this big wall that we put up and start selling now. So I'm actually going to dive into all the barriers that we've already layered out of why we can't move forward. And I'm actually going to challenge you that you can start moving forward in less than two weeks. And we're actually going to walk through all the different barriers that we chatted about and all those excuses and come up with a strategy that you can actually start selling now, or at least in the next two weeks. So the first set of barriers that were listed are all marketing barriers. We feel as though we can't get out there and talk about our business without kind of the shield or this wall. But you know what, there's this very common adage that says, fake it till you make it. And so you don't actually need all of these things to start selling. You don't need this massage. You don't need to have uh, whatever this perfect manicured brand. You just need to get started. So we need a website is one of the things. 
we need business cards, and we need a brochure. But really, when you say we need a website, is you need a web presence. There's a couple of ways to do that without waiting for your website team to get started. Number one, you can actually have a blog probably within the next hour. So if you went to wordpress.org or if you went to blogger.com um, or many other different blogs that you can actually post out there, you don't have to wait for your website. In fact, a blog can get your content up right away. Some people, when you go to a blog, they don't even know that it's a blog instead of a website. Um, and guess what? Blogs have great search engine optimization. So if you're on a Google search or a Yahoo search or whatever it is, blogs show up nine times out of the 10, even before websites do, because they're more current data, more co uh, current content. So that's one way to do it. Another great way to have a web presence ASAP is Google Maps. Just put yourself on the map. Again, this would take less than an hour. I would challenge you less than 15 minutes to get it up there. And right away, when someone's doing a Google search, um, like they would start finding you. You're already there. The other way, of course, is any sort of social media platform. You would be found through any of those as well. So lots of people stop and they don't start selling until a website. But there's actually great ways to have something that's in between. So you don't have to wait for that. So another one is we need business cards or a brochure. And the best part is sometimes this is actually tied to the website. Sometimes people won't do their business cards until they have their URL or their website domain done. So it's basically like layering of excuses of why they can't start selling. But really, how much do a website, uh, sorry, business cards cost? You can go to Vistaprint and for about 10 bucks, you can get a couple hundred business cards. You can go almost anywhere, and for less than 50 bucks, you can get your business cards. And there's lots of online tools that allow you to design it yourself, so you don't have to wait for the designer. And especially if you're trying to validate or get those first sales, why not do the first business card very cheap and cheerful? It doesn't need to be perfect at the beginning. And if you keep on waiting for perfection, you might actually go out of business. Same with a brochure, like how perfect does it have to be at the get-go? You're only going to get better, and then when you have more budget because you'll land in some sales, you can spend more money at that point in time. So marketing out of the way. We've literally just said you could do your website, aka blog or social media or Google Maps, in less than an hour. And now we also know that you could go to Vistaprint or any other thing online, such as Staples Copy and Print, custom design your own business card, and have it ready pretty much by the end of the week. So again, both of those solutions um, to solve your excuse or your challenge of why you have decided not to start selling uh, can be done within the two-week time frame that we chatted about. Okay, next barrier that we're really worried about is the operational pieces. So that's we need a prototype or we need inventory. So these are the operational reasons of why we are telling ourselves we can't start selling whatever we're, our product or service. So we need inventory. Well, there are so many businesses that have sold, in fact, millions without inventory. Inventory, in fact, many companies don't even have inventory. It goes directly from the manufacturer direct to your customer, doesn't even touch your warehouse, touch your business in any way, and so they're making millions without inventory. So why as a startup are we allowing that to stop us? Also, why would we have inventory if we didn't know that someone wanted it? We would never want to have a stockpile of inventory until we have some pre-sales. So pre-selling, what you would then have to have is a minimum quantity that you're ordering for inventory is a smart thing to do. If you look at Kickstarter and any of the products that are being launched there, those are basically one way to do pre-sales before you actually, so you don't have to have your inventory in place. So inventory is something that you don't need to start selling. In fact, I would, I would recommend not to have inventory before you know you have at least a couple sales in hand. You need to have that validation before investing that type of funding. 
then there's something that's a little bit more basic than inventory. You're like, how can I sell if I don't have a prototype? Seriously, don't I have to show someone something? Well, in the product world, yes, everything always feels very, very tangible. So we really, really believe that we have to sell when we have something that we can touch and, and that's tangible as well. But the service sector, I mean, they, their entire business is intangible. They sell the dream. They sell the concept. So why couldn't someone who's selling a product at least attempt and practice selling even without a prototype that you can touch and feel? So even the image here, you don't have to be able to touch and feel it. You just have to explain the concept. So could I sell a plane like this? Maybe I can't close the deal, but I could definitely start moving them through the funnel. Maybe once I finally do have my prototype, I've been selling or I have that relationship with that potential client for four months already. Remember, if the average sales cycle is six months, that's average, then it would be good if I started to do some of that pre-selling work and I should start doing it soon. So could I draw something up immediately? Could I get a Kickstarter campaign off the ground or create an online store within the next uh, on uh, eBay or Yahoo store or anything like that for my pre-sales and for my, my prototyping? Absolutely. I could do that in two weeks. So the next one, legal barriers, the things that I really feel that I need to have before I land a sale. First thing, we need to have a contract in place. So yes, you want to have a customer agreement in place, but how fancy and formal do you actually need to have your agreement the first time? Um, there's a lot of, you could actually go online. Uh, Clawshound has contracts that uh, would give you some of the clauses that you need and give you, gives you customer agreements there. Or you could actually just come up with what are the key pieces that you need? Maybe you have a supplier, or maybe you have um, a, you've been a customer of an organization where they actually have a contract template. So you don't have to be, especially at the very beginning, how tight does the contract need to be? What needs to be in it? Where are there other templates out there? Um, do I have to wait for a lawyer for the next, I don't know, two months? Or is there something that I could get a fixed fee and get a legal agreement in a much shorter time frame? So I could maybe go to a smaller law firm in order to get that quickly if that's what I felt that I needed. So again, you could have that in two weeks. The next one is a business name. So this one is one that I know a lot of people are hesitant to start selling before they have decided on a business name. And of course, we're always worried that our business name is going to be perfect for us, we love it, and it's going to help us still grow. So we do have in Small Business Solver a module to help you pick out your business name. And at the same time, a great rule of thumb is really when you're brainstorming what your business name should be, you should give yourself, it's actually a two week time frame. And at the point of two weeks, even if you're not 100% about a business name, it has to be good enough and you have to move forward and start selling. So count this as your warning. You have two weeks from now to brainstorm your business name. Definitely use the Small Business Solver, uh, creating your business name module. And Within two weeks, that's your drop dead date that you actually have to choose your business name so you aren't stopping yourself from selling. And the last one is we need a corporation. So you think that you need to have your business uh, in place, your corporation. Um, so for myself, when I started my own consulting firm, I actually sold before I had my legal entities uh, set up. And what I did is I just you know, validated again wanted to see if people would actually buy consulting services from me. And then at the point that I had someone lined up and I was closing the deal, that's when I registered my business. So you actually don't even need to have the corporation before you start selling. In fact, you almost wonder like, why would I have a corporation if I don't know if I can sell? So with marketing and with operational and with legal barriers, there's ways that we can actually start moving forward within two weeks. And I already gave us all this great information. 
So what else? Um, there's still other excuses and reasons why we're going to come up. I mean, I've covered the main ones that I've heard, but there's going to be other things that do show up. So maybe it's just not the right time because you think that it's seasonal, but it's always the right time to start relationships. So relationships do not happen overnight. You don't want to, to do them when you need to fail. You want to start doing them now. So no matter what the seasonality, now is the right time. I uh, recommend going to networking events ASAP and just starting to hone your own skills, especially like practice your 30-second pitch. Start to meet people who might introduce you. Uh, start asking for referrals, whatever it is. But now is definitely the right time to start selling, or at least within the next two weeks. And then the last one is just we need blank. So there might be other things that are lingering for you that you're worried about. But really think about it doesn't have to be the whole enchilada. You don't have to do everything. Just like with the inventory. You don't need the inventory right now. You could get some pre-sale. With a website, you didn't need the whole website. You could do a blog or social media or something different. So whatever it is that you're feeling that you need to have, is there something that's like a baby step that you could have now to test if your baby is ugly? So as I've been mentioning the whole time, you can definitely start selling within two weeks. And the whole thing is, as you go through this webinar, what are the things that you need to action? Get those actions done. And then after that, focus on your sales. Because it does take an average of six months to get your sales through the pipeline. And the last thing you want is for your business idea. That might be an amazing idea to not fly because you didn't sell it. So how to start selling now. I hope that this gave you lots of tips and tricks and motivated to get you started. Um, love to hear uh, some of the things that are happening. Just tweet us at Business Solver uh, or contact us directly if you have any other questions. Thank you.